If you have an image on your iPhone that's in the raw file format, you can always convert it to a JPEG instead so that it's a bit more manageable. I'll walk you through that entire process. Now let's open up the Photos app here on your iPhone. Once you have that open, you need to navigate to that specific raw file. So you can see here is the one that I wanna convert. You can see at the top left, it says raw. And if I swipe up, you can see at the right hand side here, it shows raw. So this is a raw uh, formatted photo. And next I'm gonna tap on the little share icon at the bottom left. Let's convert this to a JPEG. And to do that, we need to bring it into the files app on your iPhone, a default files app. So let's swipe down here and you're gonna look for save to files. Just tap on that button. Now you can choose where you want to save this specifically. So you can tap browse at the bottom top left here and choose wherever you want. Let's say in the downloads folder, I'm gonna hit save. So now I've saved this raw image to the downloads folder. I can access it by swiping over to the right get to the app library here, and you can just search for the files app and open it up. Now on here, you'll need to navigate to that specific folder wherever you downloaded your image. In my case, I'll tap downloads here, and there is that image. Now the cool thing is I can tap and hold on it, and then just hit the get info here right under quick look, and you'll be able to see it automatically converts it. You can see image 5766.jpg, it's a JPEG image. Now I've converted it, but still in the files app. Maybe you wanna bring that back into the photos app. You can do that by just tapping on it. And then we'll tap on the share icon at the bottom left. And now if we hit save to image, this will bring it back over to the photo gallery on your iPhone, but as a JPEG. So let's go back into the Photos app here on your phone, and you can see there's that raw one, but this one I can swipe up, and now you can see it's a JPEG instead of a raw file format, and a lot of times it's a lot smaller than a raw file format as well.